Hello Nonsense Explorers. One of the most popular dashboards we have is Token God Mode. Uh, and a common feature request we get is, can we add any token, not just the tokens that are in the list that we've already whitelisted in Nansen? So I'm happy to say that now we have this support inside of Nansen. And this is kind of the standard token god mode where I've selected Wi-Fi as the token. But you can go back to the main page. And obviously here you have the, the most popular dashboards, but we've kind of hidden away this custom version here at the bottom. And so if you click this one, this will take you to a dashboard that will look exactly like the token god mode you know and love. Uh, but you can copy in any other token that we haven't necessarily listed yet. For example, something that's new. So I got the token few here. Uh, it shows something that uh, would involve a bit of drama. Copy that and I go back. I simply paste in the token address, hit enter. The default is that the token has 18 decimals. You might have to change that for some tokens, but in most cases that works. Um, and so effectively now this is going to run the token god mode dashboards. And of course, many of these custom tokens um, might not be on exchanges, for example. And so in this case, this one as well is a, is a good example. You see lots of these empty charts, which doesn't look great, but it's just the way it is. Um, no exchanges have listed few. So what else can you see, though? Uh, well, you can look at what the, the biggest balance changes are uh, for different wallets. And you see some interesting stuff here. You see some uh, some ENS names. You even see some people have gone public about their address because they are, for example, multi-sig signers. And so this is kind of the, the top balance changes here, right? Um, you can click that back and forth as you normally do. You can also look at the top transactions in the last seven days. And so here, for example, uh, you can see that there's been uh, some kind of airdrop going on um, for these different ones. We can actually just drill in and you can see it here. Maybe they used some kind of airdrop uh yeah multisender.app so they've used multisender um should probably tag that a bit better actually it looks a bit messy but you can see a lot of people with ens addresses who received these few tokens uh adding to the drama that's been on crypto twitter uh some of these obviously uh notable people um and you can basically just click through and see who are the people that actually received these tokens um, some people are public. We don't actually normally list uh, individuals in our labels unless they've explicitly um, gone out and said, that this is my address. For example, if they're, they're multi-sig signers or if they are uh, delegates for governance. So that's why we have some names in here. And then, of course, there's like ENS names, which we can't really do much about. People basically just in um associate them with our own address and we read them out straight from the, the smart contracts of ENS. Um, yeah, you can see top addresses like most other tokens, still some people holding their tokens, possibly because they actually just weren't uh, involved in it or they, they don't um, didn't really do anything actively with the token, even though they received them. Uh, and yeah, so that's kind of it. Um, you could basically pick any address that is on, um, that you find on Etherscan or anywhere else and just punch it in the address field here. Let me just show you one other way to do it, which might uh, be a useful shortcut. So you can just add it to the uh, URL as well. So basically, you know, token god mode custom in this case, and then you add address as the parameter, you hit enter, and that should pre-populate the address field although it didn't in this case. Oh, actually it did. It just hides it uh, when it's pre-populated for some reason. So yeah, that's, that's it. Hope that was useful. Enjoy. Bye-bye.